Well, good morning. Good morning to all of you. We are doing another live paint and sip. See if I can get you adjusted here. Live paint and sip because get my phone secure. Whoops, Daisy. And you can see we're going to do a vase. We'll go ahead and paint a vase today because painting vases is a lot of fun. Now, you'll notice that every single time that we painted before, we painted on a canvas or on a cardstock paper. Well, today we're going to paint on glass. Now, painting on glass is pretty easy to do because you can wipe it off as you go if you don't like it. You'll notice I put a towel behind the vase so that you can kind of see the other side or through the vase to the other side. And yesterday I painted this one. Look at how pretty that is. Now I started off with the flowers at the center of the vase and then expanded out from there. So you'll notice that if you paint a vase, I can almost guarantee that all of you have a vase under your kitchen sink. If you just go grab, hey Billy, good to see you. Thanks for watching. Susie, Annie, Mary, Louise from Indiana, Maryland, Massachusetts. Hey, all of you out there. It's so good to see you. Yes, we're going to paint a vase today. I know I promised you this a while ago and it's super easy to do probably because most of you have vases under your kitchen sink. Now imagine if you could give this as a gift. Wouldn't that be a wonderful gift to give to somebody as a birthday or holiday or just a hey I love you kind of a gift super simple super easy you'll notice that we started in the center with the flowers and then we expanded outward when you start in the center you can expand out pretty easily then I'll take this vase and put a clear finish on it a nice clear finish so that the um, the colors will show through even more. It will look like a stained glass. I mean, literally, you could probably put weeds in that baby and somebody would be like, dude, it's rocking. And it makes a wonderful, super easy, fun gift to make in addition to give. Okay, so I am actually going to use, again, flat brushes because they're pretty easy to do. Hey, Lisa, I don't know what it is about you, but I love your name. It's super awesome. Okay, so we're going to be painting a vase. This is the one I did a few days ago. It's nice and dry. And the um, paint, which we were using, um, Lydia, we are using acrylic paint. Yes, thank you for asking. Acrylic paint is a water-based paint. You can get it at any store, probably at Walmart. I was at Walmart, pretty much like everybody else in the world at the store because that's where we go now um, to hang out with our friends and they were almost out of all of their art supplies. I do have art supplies here at my studio and I sell them online. I sell complete art kits but this vase I can almost guarantee you everybody has one probably in there. Hey Joanne, good to see you. It's nice, it's nice to see you. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, hey Ruth, good to see you. Yep, we're going to be painting a glass vase. Just go ahead and grab that glass vase right from underneath your cupboard and then you'll have a nice, wonderful, fun, super great gift to give someone. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the one I did a few days ago. Super simple, super easy, super fun. And you'll notice that I started in the center and then moved outwards. Let's go ahead and set that one aside and let's get started. Let's go ahead and say, you know what? I'm not so much on the poppies, but I am. Um, I do really want to do, say, uh, let's just pick a flower. Let's pick a daisy. Daisies are pretty and super cheery. Everybody wants to be cheered up these days because the news is really trying hard to cheer us all up. And we so thank you for that. And that's where I come in. That's why I'm going to go ahead and say, you know what? Get your paints out. Let's go ahead and paint something, anything. Come on, people. Let's just paint and have some fun and end up with something really nice. So we're starting in the center of the vase, and we're going to add some flowers. We'll add some daisies. We'll start off in the center, and we'll just put some nice big daisies. One, two, three, four. We'll add a few extra ones. I'm pretty sure, hopefully, you can see that. Yes, you can see it. Fantastic. I put a towel behind there. I'm starting in the center of the vase. I'm not going to go perfectly around. I'm just going to go up and down with some nice daisies. Oops, see, I got a little bit of a goober there, a little bit of an extended piece of paint. It's like I call them goobers, but they're not really. I mean, that's not a nice thing to call. Them. Hey, Corinne, good to see you. Love you, sweetie. Okay, so and then we'll start off here. This is a nice glass vase. I cleaned it 
got it from underneath the cupboard. Okay, well, I didn't clean it, but I wiped it off. Okay, fine. It didn't have any goobers on it. So we went ahead and started there. And I'm going to add more flowers. One, two, three, four. You'll notice that the petals are all about the same size. Some people find it easier to start from the center and go out. Some people find it easier to start from the outside and go in. You'll have to decide for yourself because everybody has a specific way of painting that's easier for them. Not every single brush blend has to be easy. Thank you, Joanne. It's good to see you too. Yeah, I do live paint and sip. Well, let's just put it this way. I normally do paint and sip classes on the weekends. We have been in hold mode around here because everybody's in hold mode. Let's just call it relax mode. Let's go ahead and call it everybody has been baking and having a good time and spending time with the family and taking good care of themselves. Um, but today we're going to paint and relax and go ahead and grab that glass jar right underneath your kitchen sink, because I can almost guarantee every single one of you has one of these, and you're gonna go ahead and start painting. Okay, back to the painting. Here we go, some more daisies. Yesterday we did, um, yesterday we did poppies. We started off with poppies. Look how pretty that turned out. We love poppies, but say there's like 14 people out there going, hey man, I do not like the poppy. I need another flower. Well, I'm going to go ahead and show you, and you, it's because they're pretty, you know, sometimes pretty is just too pretty. So we're going to go ahead and tone down the pretty with something that's just a flat white and we're going to use daisies. I personally love daisies. I love all flowers. Flowers are just pretty. They're just pretty. Okay. And daisies are supposed to be a weed. So there you go. You even can get pretty out of the weeds. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three, four. We're starting in the center of the vase. The reason why you want to start in the center is because you want to make it easy on you. Life is supposed to be a little bit easy. And so we'll go ahead and go all the way around the vase with... Uh, you notice that some of the flowers have five petals and some have four. That's okay. If you have room for an extra one, go ahead and add an extra one. You don't have to. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying you could add an extra one. See, that one had five. And we're going to go ahead. Every single time I'm stopping, I'm reloading my brush, this nice flat brush. These are the bombshell, let me tell you. Um, I do sell them also because they're so cool. I love them. They're nice flat brushes because they make thick or thin lines. And on petals, you want that flow. You want the flow and you want the, the haphazard look. You don't want it to be super pretty or perfect. Now, I'm on a Lazy Susan that I made. I don't know if you can see that at all, but it's a Lazy Susan that I did. Maybe someday I'll make a Lazy Susan for you and we can all have one of those at our house because you never know if you need a Lazy Susan or not. I mean, what if you have like a bunch of condiments in your refrigerator and you need to get them all out and check them all out and this is a great way to do it. Okay, one, two, three, four little petals. If one isn't big enough, they're all about the same size because if we were hanging out in this field with these flowers, they would all be about the same size. So since we're all at the same distance, they would be all about the same size. I mean, one, two, three, four. Now that one is a little bit higher. Let's go ahead and make one that's a little bit lower. Hopefully you can see all this and we're gonna get into some color in just a minute. I just want to start off in the center of the vase to make it super easy. Look, I'm almost all the way around the vase in just a matter of minutes. You don't have to do this all in one set. I mean, just in a matter of minutes, I went ahead. I'm going to put one more just to take up a little more space because we're going to end up filling the whole vase. Look at this one right here. We ended up starting in the center. And we ended up filling up the whole vase. So you really do, hey, all you guys on there, man, I'm just going to go ahead and give you all a hug. Hug for everyone, yay. Because this is going to turn out, we'll start in the center and we'll fill it all up. We're just going to fill up that sucker. Go ahead and then we're going to give it to mom. Because you know what? If there's anything you can give your mom that has to do with a flower, I'm telling you, you rock. You are the rockage. Okay, we have now all those flowers on there. Nice daisies. We haven't put any centers yet, but we are going to. But now let's go ahead and add some little, I have this pretty magenta purpley, uh, pretty purpley stuff. I'm gonna, I put it a little bit on the end of the thing. Flowers can be in little Blobule. <laughs> Again, then blobule is not a word, but it has like a round shape or an up and down shape. Let's go ahead and give it an up and down shape. 
There you go. Just something simple. Not getting fancy on me. I'm just going ahead and going to get a little bit of that purple. Look at what happens. I touched a little, I don't know if you can see, a little tiny bit of blue. Rock this back and forth. You can see that blue just to get some variation going. Still going in my up and down mode. I'm going to go right over that white flower right there because I know that in nature there is always overlapping. Now look at, I started in the center and went around the whole center. Now I'm going to start at the bottom and go around all the way around the bottom with this little tiny bit of a purpley flower. I usually have these things kind of planned out in order to make it super simple and easy. It's amazing how sometimes it takes a little bit more planning to make things simple, but you'll be glad in the end. Look at those are just up and down flowers. Hey, Troy, Rich, Peggy, Lyle, thank you guys all for joining. You know that you can paint this too. You can just follow along, grab a piece of a little vase right under your kitchen sink and go ahead and make your mom a nice vase or your girlfriend or your guy friend and then put a weed in it. You could put a weed in this baby. Imagine somebody handing you that and saying, hey man, I'm gonna go ahead and put whatever in that. They would be like, you're the bombshell. You're the best. You're so rocking. Okay, let's get back to what we're supposed to be doing and we'll put another one right there. We don't have to make them perfect or anything like that. So we went from the middle, now we're doing some on the bottom. Let's go ahead and add some more. I'm not getting specific here because I don't have to. And remember, this vase is like a dollar vase that you get with any single set of flowers that you get. When you get flowers, they come in a vase, and what do you do with that vase? You stash it under the kitchen sink or the bathroom sink, and you say, I'll get to that when I get some flowers. But what if they, you could turn all of those vases, and some of you have a lot of them, into beautiful gifts like this? So let's go ahead and add some more. We added something to the middle, then we went to the bottom. Let's add something to the top. Let's just go ahead and add maybe these kind of flowers, little cup like little I don't know little couplet flowers I don't know the names of all the flowers I just know that they're pretty and when you're a girl pretty matters so let's go ahead even when you're a guy my dad loves flowers he tells me every single time I, I used to send him all kinds of stuff for his birthday I now send him flowers or little gift baskets and he's so happy with them I didn't realize that dudes like pretty things too you know Okay, we're putting little couplets. You'll notice that I'm just making one side with this side, the brush, and this side with that brush. Super easy, super simple. Look at what happens if I go for another color. I added a little tiny dot of orange on there. Go ahead and make that one. Look at, it turned into like a little tiny California poppy. And we all love the California poppy because it's a beautiful flower. Uh-oh, see that big giant blob on that white? petal. I kind of want to get that off because when I am done with this, I'm going to put a little coat of uh, clear varnish on it. Once again, water-based, so it's super easy to clean up since we're all so busy cleaning up our hands. I just grabbed it, cleaned the brush, and just wiped it in the direction of the first petal. I'm going to go right back to this gorgeous set of flowers right up here. I actually like that orange against the white and the purple. Now, I'm on a Lazy Susan, so it's turning around. Lazy Susans are super easy to make and fun to have around the house. You could stand on them and do the rock out scene. I don't recommend that because some of us weigh more than others. Okay. Okay, another one. We did the middle, the bottom. Now we're putting some stuff on the top. We're trying to fill in the whole vase nice flower. I'm not getting specific. I'm going up and down, up and down. I can hear somebody knocking at my studio door. They're probably saying, hey man, you're painting in there. I know it. I can smell it. Okay, there we go. Now we have some beautiful flowers in the center, some at the bottom. Let's go ahead and add more flowers at the bottom. Let's add a blue. Blue is a pretty color. What the heck? We like blue. And we're going to put I'm trying to hit this and so you can see there's one kind of blue and then there's a darker blue. When you add two colors, hey Renee, Benjamin, thanks for watching guys. 
When you put two colors on the tip of your brush, you're gonna get a blend. It's gonna be a natural blend. We want that blend. Let's go ahead and come down here and do some little, some little like cuppy flowers or little tiny flowers that suggest that there are some blue flowers and there are blue flowers. Blue is probably one of my favorite color of flowers besides all the other favorite ones. We'll just put some color down in there. I'm rearranging my shindig here. There we go. Get some little tiny blue in there, but that's such a pretty blue. What if we took that blue, try and get this around the corner here. I'm turning the vase as I go. You could totally hold the vase, and I've done this before, hold the vase at the top and turn it as you go. Turn, turn, turn. But when you get to the top of the vase and fill it in, and you, can't, and you also want to keep your fingerprints off of it, it's okay if you have a few fingerprints on there. But it gets a little bit more challenging because when we get to the green, as you'll see, it, um, will, get, it will touch your fingers. The paint will get on your fingers. Don't get me wrong, I have gotten paint on this finger and this finger. I've gotten paint on everything. I have clothes. All my clothes have paint on them. And I don't worry about it too much anymore, but you can't go rolling around in the neighborhood with paint all over you. So now we know that this center flowers are probably, hey Bob Kirkin, how are you? You know I love you, man. You the rock. We're still waiting for those live um, videos on winemaking. Bob Gherkin works at Butterfly Creek Winery in Mariposa, California, and he is a winemaker. He rocks. He's so much fun to hang out with, and he can teach us all how to make wine in our garage since we're not doing much else. Okay, so let's go back to those white flowers. Super pretty, super awesome. They even smell good, and let's put some centers. That blue is a really pretty blue, so what the heck? Let's just go ahead and put that center of blue right in those daisies. Now, I don't know if daisies have blue centers, but we'll just say, hey. Hey, tell Aunt Trish I said hi. Aunt Trish also lives in Mariposa, California, and she's the bombshell. She's gonna be moving, I'm from Sandpoint, Idaho. We're videoing from Sandpoint, Idaho, and it's a little bit rainy outside. So, hey Mike, how's it going? Woo -hoo! We're partying with painting. Yeah, painting party. We're putting blue in the center. I know that that would have blue behind there. So I'm just going to add some blue to those centers. Oh, yeah. Nice blue in the center of the flowers. Super pretty. Looking good. Hey, I want one too. There you go, buddy. Oop, that one got kind of big, but that's okay. All right, there we go. Now we added some blues to the centers. Let's go ahead and add dashes of red. Because sometimes red is a pretty color of a flower. And we can just say, you know, sometimes there's teeny tiny little red flowers that show up here and there. And they add so much punkiness to things. So we'll add some little tiny bit of, say, maybe a, this kind of a flower. Oh, that looks pretty. We'll add some little, there you go. Once again, all I'm doing is a one two, three, four, going from the center out. And you'll notice that I'm keeping the white in the center, the orange at the top. It's sort of a pattern and it helps you uh, create the thing in unity. Let me just show you exactly what I'm talking about. See how this one right here, these ones are all in the center, have the yellow ones spaced out evenly. You could never tell unless I told you. Okay, maybe you are one of those people who could. I kept the blue on the bottom, the red. I kept them all the same all the way around. The only reason I did that was because I wanted to make it easy. I am about the kind of person who wants things to be easy because things are fun. You're supposed to have fun. Okay, so I made it easy by keeping things together all the way around. I didn't go up and down and all around because when we create a little little uh, tiny bit of unity it helps it look a little bit more realistic okay back to our gorgeousness of redness flower we'll just go ahead and add some pretty little flowers some little petals remember flowers either go up and down or they have a oh that one look like a, a little tiny butterfly 
Hey, Carol, how are you? Good to see you. Hope you are well. I love all your posts. You are a funny person. I like funny. Okay, so we're coming back to the, we are painting a glass vase. You go ahead and get that glass vase at the bottom of your uh, shelf underneath there, and you guys can paint them. They're so much fun, super easy, super fun. We're putting a little bit of red in here just to get it looking pretty. We're trying to create some unity by keeping it all on the same level because you'll notice that flowers outside all grow wherever they grow, in the weeds or on the lawn or wherever, they all grow about the same height. So if we create that unity, it helps create realistic. And I can show you that again if you want. So look, I went all the way around with the red. Wasn't that super easy, super simple? Now we're gonna go right back to that bright yellow. We like bright yellow because it represents, yay, something pretty, we want pretty. I'm gonna touch that yellow. The yellow is gorgeous. See how it's almost neon? You don't want things to look too cartoony, so in order to create a mellowness to that yellow, I'm gonna to touch the white. So now you can kind of see I put some white and it coated that yellow. So I now have yellow under there hiding. I'm under here. And the white, and we're gonna add some little tiny yellow flowers. Let's just put them right here. Those little tiny dot of yellow flowers. And they're just little. They're like all, hey, I'm little, but I'm still here. And we'll put them in between here and there, once again, creating them all on the same level, on this lower level. They're little tiny. I don't know what kind of flowers they are. I don't know what kind of flowers any of these are, but we started off with the daisy. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and call that one a daisy. And we're coming back. I'm gonna deepen that yellow with just a little bit of a more darker yellow, just for variety. What the heck, we like variety. Okay, and going all the way around the vase, having a good time, painting, yeah. Okay, so that yellow is super cool, super awesome, really good. And I'm gonna take that yellow because I think it's really, really pretty. And I'm gonna put this little tiny bit of yellow inside that red. See that red flower, dot of yellow dot of yellow because believe it or not most flowers even the ones like hydrangeas have oops that guy got off whack sorry buddy he's like oh, dude you look like I've been drinking and I haven't even started okay here we go back to the yellow putting it in those centers all of our flowers will have some sort of a centers some sort of a beautiful center now look at how far we've come in just a matter of well, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, a couple of minutes. Okay, who's, who's keeping track of time anymore? Okay, so we like that yellow so much that we're going to add some more orange right to the tip of it. And see the orange right to the tip of it? I'm going to add a couple more of these beautiful, sort of like a California poppy looking flower. It's okay if you go on top of the other flowers. That's just overlapping. There is always overlapping in nature. If you look out any window, you will notice that overlapping is everywhere. Probably the most overlooked key of perspective, but that's okay. Once you add it, it tricks the eye into seeing this flower. And then I notice that there's another flower behind it. Look at how super awesome sauce that is looking. This side, that side. Now that one's a little bit lighter, but that's okay because as you look into the distance, flowers, even though they seem like they're all the same color, there's a variety. And when I take my brush and add a variety right in the tip of the brush, it automatically spills out into the flowers. I want that. See, look at that. There's all kinds, there's three different colors in there. I always want that variety. Nice variety of color, come down in here. Okay, so we now have a nice layer of flowers. Let me just grab this other one. This other one, we did the exact same thing. We added the centers, we had the top flowers, the middle, the bottom, top, middle, bottom, and we started with the center to make it super easy. Now we're gonna add some greenery. Look how much greenery is in there. Once we add that greenery, hey Suzanne, good to see you. Thank you so much for watching, Larry. Louise, May, Jenna, Carlina, Indy, all the way from Australia again. Thank you, Australia. Okay, look at that. 
how pretty that is. And now we're going to add, and it just started off with the flowers. Now we're going to unify the whole thing, unify the whole thing with uh, some greenery. We're going to add some greenery, and that greenery is going to make this whole thing sing. I'm telling you, if vases could sing, this one is already singing. Hey, I'm singing because I'm so rocking. Okay, now back to the vase. We started off with daisies. We're going to add some greenery. Now, because greenery can be a dominant color, that's okay. No problem. We like green. We're going to go ahead and secure that the green won't take over by putting a layer of yellow onto the brush. It just forces the brush to be holding something else and then we're going to touch the green. See, now I touched the green. That yellow is still hiding underneath it. I'm still here. But the green is on top of it. And we're going to go ahead and just start adding some greenery to all the open spaces. You can kind of see through. I put a towel behind here so that hopefully you can see it pretty well. But we're going to add some greenery to all the open spaces. Nice little tiny bit of greenery to all the open spaces on this vase that we found under the kitchen sink and nobody can tell us not to paint it because we are painters and that's what we do. We go find stuff and paint it. Okay, and this is a super simple project, a lot of fun to do and you can give it away as a beautiful gift to yourself even because you guys are all awesome. Okay, so now every single time I'm leaving the palette here, I'm going and grabbing a little tiny bit more green. You'll notice how we stay in one section when we go all the way around. I'm going to create the same brush blend in each area. This whole brush blend, I'm going short in one direction or the other. In painting, there are only two kinds of lines. They're either straight or curved. These are slightly straight, a little bit curved. It is okay. See how the paint just touched a little bit of red right there? That's all right. I'm going to let it blend right out. Red mixed with green will just make a rich dark red. I'm still touching a little bit of that yellow. Look at, we're ending up all the way back at the other side. Now let's go down here. Let's do the same thing, but let's add shorter brush blends, just short dashes all the way down in here, covering up anything. I am trying to go a little bit around the flowers, going a little bit around, all the while still trying to fill in the clear areas, the spaces that don't have any color. I'm not trying to go too fast, even though I'm trying to get it all in there. You'll notice the two-toneness, that there is a little bit of lemon yellow and a little bit of green. We want the two-toneness. It actually, if, even if you look at a green lawn, you look outside and see a green lawn, there's variations in it. We want to automatically add variations in all of the colors that we use because it starts to look more realistic. Okay, so we added something to the bottom, to the, to the middle. Now we're going to go up here. These will go, once again, all the way around with the same brush blend. And I'm going to make these longer. I'm just going to make them longer. I'm going to go a different direction. What the heck? We can. We're going a different direction. Yay. We're going backwards. Look, at, I'm making them long. I'm going around the flowers, letting the flowers poke th out through here and there. And every time I, I'm reloading my brush, and every now and then you might even want to go right over the flower because once again, overlapping is one of the keys of perspective. We want to have some overlapping. Nice, simple. Look at how our vase is getting completely filled up with beautiful, awesome color. Color is spectacular. Look at that. It's getting better and better. We're filling in all of the spaces. It's getting nice and filled in. Okay, let's go to the top. Sorry about that. I'm bumping into things. We'll go to the top. We filled in the middle in this area, the bottom. Now we're going to go up here and we're going to add more of that same greenery. We're going to get a little bit lighter on the green. That's too light. I want to be able to see it. Oh yeah, and I'm adding dashes here and there all the way around those beautifulness of the poppies coming up all the way to the lip. 
all the way to the lip top of the vase. Now I cleaned my vase a little bit. All right, fine, I got it out of the cupboard. But you just don't wanna make sure there's any goobers on it. And the reason why, I don't know if that's even a word, but a goober is something that's a bump on something. <laughs> and you don't know what it is, but it, the paint will go over it. And then if you happen to wash this gently, because we're gonna put a finish on it, then it may peel off. So you wanna make sure to get your, at least the goobers off. I didn't clean this really well, but I did get it out of the cupboard and I'm pretty sure it's clean down there. And I actually have more to paint. These ones right here, I sell them at my studio all day long. Actually, the next four that I have, this one plus these other ones, I already sold them. They didn't even want to look at them. She just wanted them. She just wants to paint at home, I think, or give them to somebody. I don't know. And I like painting, so in a matter of minutes, look at what we filled in. Gorgeousness on top of gorgeousness. Now, you say, hey, Giovanna, what a beautiful name. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so now we have gorgeousness, but we wanna add some spark. This is gorgeous and pretty, but we wanna add a little bit of a spark to it. So let's go ahead and add some more of this red. Red will pop off the page. Let's go ahead and add a little tiny bit more of red, maybe here and there, as if it was a small flower, just growing, once again, going all the way around adding just some beautiful color here and there all the way around gorgeousness and I'm filling in once again I have to fill in most of the area where the see-through comes through where the glass is showing through I want to get all of that filled in because when I put this vase, I want to be able to see through teeny tiny bits, but most of it. Now look at that, I want it to be filled in. That looks really nice. Now let's do the same thing with a little tiny bit of this purple. Little tiny bit, you'll notice I still, once again, have two different colors in there. I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of that. I have a little blue in there. I'm gonna add a little bit more blue and put it as if it was a small little flower that was growing little tiny bit here and there and look at what I'm ending up with a really pretty little flower I'm gonna go back and hit these centers again and add any more colors to them now look at that in just a short amount of time we have created a really simple fun vase and these are vases. Hey, Chatters, how's it going? Uh, you bet you're busy. I'm surprised you're online. He has twins, so he's a busy guy. Look at and just we did this one yesterday. Has a little more color because of that center flower. But what if you wanted to do another one? I think I'll do another one that has a little bit of a blue, a little bit of a blue flower. Maybe a hydrangea. I'll do another one with a hydrangea. But there you go. You get to see a couple of little vases. And thank you all for watching. I hope this was fun. You can go ahead and grab yourself a, uh, a vase and just start painting, start in the center, and then move outward. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and you have a wonderful... Uh, the boys like to watch you. That's because the boys are painters. Chad's twins are painters. They're very little, but very accomplished. And thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful afternoon, and enjoy your, the rest of your time off.